Donald Trump's appearance at Sacred Heart University over the weekend drew out thousands of supporters and protesters alike. HAN's Brian Hayfley was outside SHU capturing photos of some of those supporters and protesters, including this argument between two people on different sides. Check it out. Fascist is somebody that's worse than a dictator because the fascist. No, I, no not, not, I didn't say worse than what, what is a fascist? Fascist is somebody with complete control over everything. So if there's no constitution. Somebody make all the decisions. That's right. Somebody who wants to make every decision for all of us. Oh, okay. You need to do your research. Yeah, what I do. Yeah, I have research. You know what a fascist I'm a, I'm a constitutionalist. Are you familiar with oh, yeah. fascist? Oh, yeah. Trump's a fascist. Hey, you guys can talk. Right. You just got to keep okay. the sidewalk clear. Right. Thank you. Thanks for your, thanks for your ignorance. Thank you. Traffic. Trump hates women. Trump hates you. Crowds formed Saturday around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and were let in around 4.30. Donald Trump was scheduled to speak at 7.30 and arrived at about 7.45. One banner that upset some, which was held by apparent Trump supporters, read, Diversity equals white genocide. Those who were anti-Trump also made their voices heard by organizing a Love Trump's Hate rally. You can check out that some of video from that protest right now. Love Trump's hate! 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 Brian Hayfully reports that at about 7 o'clock, ticket holders were not allowed to enter the pit center due to the air conditioning not working. Several attendees suffered from heat exhaustion, and an estimated crowd of about 4,500 uh, were not let in. According to reports, about 4,000 to 5,000 people filled the basketball arena. Outside the overflow crowd listened to an unscripted Trump hurl insults at crooked Hillary and Connecticut's Governor Daniel P. Malloy. The Connecticut Post reports that Trump came out on stage to Lee Greenwood's God Bless the USA and did not use a teleprompter. The one-time Greenwich resident was loaded for bear on Connecticut's tax climate, Clinton's email scandal, and his favorite foe, the media. He reportedly said, it's a garbage paper of the New York Times. Maybe we'll start thinking about taking away their press credentials. A Secret Service agent guarded a fenced-in media workspace in the center of the arena, while one Trump reporter supposedly yelled, you're scum.